Hey YouTube, I just wanted to put together a nice little video about an antenna that I just picked up. It's a log periodic antenna and uh, I didn't see any videos on YouTube about this so I think it'd be a good idea to talk it up a little bit. Uh, there's two different flavors of this antenna. They're made by Create uh, and you can buy them anywhere from about uh, $2.99 to $3.79 at the different ham, ham radio outlets. Um, this particular one is the smaller of the two. This one covers from 105 megahertz up to 1.2 gig. There's also another version of this antenna that covers all the way down to six meters um, up to 1.2 gig. The elements um, on the longest element are I think twice as long. So I didn't need that six meter coverage. So I thought I'd go with the smaller one and it's gonna eventually go up in my tower up there replacing a um, Cushcraft uh, AS120, I think it's called. I'm not really too happy with it, so I wanna get something different. Now, why would I wanna get this antenna? Well, a log periodic typically has great characteristics for being broadband. And so when I say it covers 105 up to 1.2 gig, it really does. Uh, there, what I wanna show you with my SWR meter is the uh, SWR that you get on different frequencies. I'll be running it through my Comet antenna analyzer. Um, but it's a really impressive antenna and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. Some people will say it doesn't have great gain, but if you're looking for one antenna that does everything, I tell you, you can't beat something like this because uh, I don't have a spot for, uh, let's face it, this is gonna actually cover five bands that I would normally have to put up five different antennas. I'd have to put up a a 2 meter, a 220, a 440, 900 meg, and a 1.2. And this covers with all with one antenna. Now I'm going to mount it in the vertical configuration. And the way I'm showing it here, which is kind of the uh, way it's going to be mounted up in the tower, um, anytime you mount a vertical antenna and you've got the mast going between the elements, you're going to get some interaction and the SWR is going to be high. And I found that to be the case with this one when I initially mounted it vertical next to a mast, which is my test mast on the ground here. Uh, so then what I decided to do, per their instructions, is to come out with a mast that's uh, at least half the length of the longest driven elements. The longest driven element here is four feet, so if I go two feet out, uh, that's a good distance to keep it spread apart. So this is the way it's gonna be mounted up in my tower, and you know what, maybe I'll put something on the other end of the pole once I get it installed. But let's uh, break right over to the SWR meter and I'll show you what kind of results you get tracking this through the SWR uh, meter from Comet. It's a little hard to do when you're <laughs> looking at the camera, but I think we just think this will work. Okay, let's start. Right now I've got it on the lowest. Um, okay, so it's going to have bad SWR here, right? We can agree. Let's get into the frequency range. I said 105. Obviously, there's no hand bands there. And this, by the way, can be when it's horizontal. Oh, by the way, this can be vertical or horizontally mounted. Uh, but in my case, I want to go horizontal. But if it's mounted horizontally, um, then you could actually use it as a TV antenna, too. And uh, anyways, let me see. i got to go where I want to start looking here. Uh, let's go here. Okay, so we'll start down at 105. Let's just bring it into that area. So you can kind of see at this point, it is uh, starting to come down. So right around 91, this is like your FM band. It's got a great SWR, you know? So it's even actually going lower than 105, which is pretty cool. So let's run it up to the uh, top of this range and I'll keep switching as I go through the bands here. Okay, then I'll click to the next band. And I left off at about 110 there, so let's keep going here. Uh, here we go. Uh, I know these aren't ham frequencies, but I'm just trying to show how broadband this thing is. It's an amazing antenna, and log periodics, I think, don't get the credit they deserve um, of what they can do, um, especially when it comes... Okay, so now we're getting into the 2-meter band. So here's 144, and we'll walk it through the 2-meter band. You can see it's nice and low. All the way up. I'll do that again. 144. It didn't budge. Isn't that beautiful? All the way across the whole band. Less than 1.5 to 1 SWR. Pretty amazing stuff. Okay, let's uh, keep marching up here. We don't really care about these frequencies because they're not ham radio. And we'll kind of keep clicking here. We left at 152. Just kind of want to see where it's uh, resonant on different frequencies. And here we go. Keep going up here, right there. Uh, okay, and I like that. Okay, this I'm trying to get up to 220 here. 
Uh, so let's see. Now on 220, it's not perfect. Um, you can see it will rise up to about two to one. Uh, but then it comes out. That's the part of the band we don't have anymore. We lost that. And uh, But now when you get back, back in the area we're at, so two to one, that's still pretty decent. You know, not too bad. Keep going here. Drop it back down. So kind of see where we're at. 220. Okay, and I'll bring it up to as far as I can go in this band. Now, if you can indulge me here, I'm going to put the antenna down, or the, the, the phone down, and I'm going to make a uh, switch to the coax, because I have to go over to this connector, which starts at 300 and goes up from there. So hang on. I'll never say I've been proud of my videos, <laughs> the video content. Uh, it could be better, I know. Okay, so here we are. Now we're uh, up in the three, this is not a ham band, but I'm just kind of showing you that it's still broadband up here. So as we kind of cruise to the frequencies, we'll get into the UHF. Here we go. Let's, let's do, uh, oh, I went too far. Let's do uh, UHF. Okay, so we start at, uh, at 420, right? Okay, so I'm kind of cruising through 420, you can see. And, uh, Looking really good, right? Yep, yep. And I can only take this up to, I think, about 500 megahertz. That's as far as this antenna goes, or this uh, spectrum analyzer. So can I get it right here? Antenna analyzer, there we go. Um, so I'll take it all the way up to there, and I'll do it once again. So you can see all the way through uh, the frequency you operate in uh, UHF, it's one to one. This is an amazing antenna. Try to find any other Yagi that will do that, and you won't find it. Okay, now let me show you a little bit more detail. This is the best part on the build quality of this antenna. I'm gonna set it down here. <laughs> I'm making this on a cell phone, so I don't wanna have to pause it and have it stitch it together. I don't wanna do a lot of editing. This is just a quick little video because I'm super excited about this. I wanna show you what it can do. Hang on. Okay, I just want to take you around a little bit about the quality of this. I mean, this thing is amazing. It is probably the best built antenna I have ever put together. Um, I've put together a lot of cush crafts. I've put together high gains, um, MF junk. <laughs> Stuff's horrible. But I mean, if you look at the fit and the oh, there you go. I gotta get this right here. If you look at the fit and finish, oh, these are little tiny bolts. You know, everything is here is super well machined. Um, they actually have reinforced elements right here. You don't always see this on antennas, even short ones. And they also remember the, to include the little caps. So when you mount it vertically, uh, you won't have rain in there. Don't need them down the bottom because there's no uh, need to have it weeping out of the bottom. And then look, check this out. They actually include uh, a little tie down to hold the coax in place as it leaves the boom. And the best part, it has an end connector. Now, some of you might not like end connectors, but I love end connectors. They're super reliable. Uh, they're good for keeping water out. I will still tape this anyways, but uh, you know, this is the way to go, folks, end connector. But to have these uh, reinforcements for the coax is awesome. I mean, this is just a really, really well-made antenna. I can't wait to get it up on the tower, and uh, so hopefully one day I'll have a, a video of it being up on the tower. But I just want to put together a video showing you how uh, this uh, on town looks um, like I say don't don't uh, overlook log periodics they are very good antennas very capable and uh, I think if you picked up one I think you'd be as impressed with it as I am this is K9AT Dave in Ingleside Illinois 73